now the video. Andy Warhol was born on August 6, 1928 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Growing up, he had a lot of problems, such as having synonyms chorea, which caused pink blotches on his skin. He was also hypochondriac, often being bedridden. During all this, he would do things such as draw and listen to the radio. He considered this moment, period in his life important as he believed it developed his personality. He first started out as an artist when he discovered the blotted line technique. He then used this technique later after college in commercial advertisements. One of his most famous ads were for shoes for Ivy. As successful as he was, he couldn't help but think he wasn't taken seriously as an artist. He decided he wanted to change the style. That's when he turned to a new type of art called pop art. Although he worked in many mediums, he was best known for his work in pop art, known as Pope of Pop. He started making popular brands and Coke bottles, but he wasn't sure what to create next. People think of Andy Warhol's work. How the first thing that comes to mind is his pop art and can see. Heaven got the dark drums dreaming left me. Me in my boat searching for he. Other iconic objects he painted include dollar bills, electric chairs, and mushroom clouds. He also painted celebrities like Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley, Marlon Brando, Tony Donahue, Muhammad Ali, and Elizabeth Taylor. Also, a photographer and filmmaker. His films were known for being a bit out there. One of his films, called Sleep, is a six hour film of someone sleeping. Another film called Eat is considered a man eating a mushroom for 45 minutes. Now, you might be asking, what does Andy Warhol have to do with changing the way people see things? Till this day, people still remember his name. His unique style inspired the pop His professional ideas were considered modern and interesting. Oh, he it's people like him that pushed the boundaries of art that inspired the 